Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on the video and welcome to my trackside view of the first day of testing that was held at Silverstone after the British Grand Prix. And uh, first of all, apologies, this has been a little bit delayed. A few things have cropped up that's needed me to travel away from home the last few days, uh, including former students. So uh, this is going to be more of a testing slash halfway through the season report on how I think each of the teams are doing. A little note on the close-up pictures such as this from On Track. These are done by my friend Ben Stevenson. Do check him out. His Flickr account is in the description below and he's got some really good shots on there. So we'll kick off with Red Bull. Red Bull had a very indifferent day. First of all, the morning didn't go very well for them. Uh, they didn't do many laps and they were the slowest in the morning. But the afternoon, they really turned it round very quick in the afternoon. Daniel Ricciardo doing a lot of laps. And this car really does have good aerodynamic performance, but as we've seen, is lacking straight line speed. On to Mercedes, um, this car is just so impressive. To see it in the flesh and see how it corners, not only does it have the straight line speed, but the aerodynamic thing, the uh, aerodynamic grip that this thing has is so impressive. Nico Rosberg was shifting up earlier, heavier on the power, and Mercedes, uh, even if the Frick system uh, holds them back, I still think they're going to be untouchable this season. They also did a lot of work on the rear end, as we can see a lot of the Flovis presence around what I'm guessing is a new rear wing and new diffuser. Ferrari, well, they did not have the day that they would have hoped for. Good amount of running morning, but then uh, the car kind of disappeared um, in the afternoon. We didn't see it much. Pedro de la Rosa uh, doing the work in the morning. I suspect maybe a few uh, power unit issues, um, as when we come on to Marussia later, they had, they had similar issues. Uh, also good to see number 28 back on the Ferrari, which he used to have back in the day. Now, on to Lotus. Firstly, good. They did a lot of laps. Pastor Maldonado was out there most of the day. Um, middling, can anyone explain this to me? Why on earth Maldonado's got intermediates on the front and slicks on the rear? That was a bit odd. What I will say about this car, though, is it really needs some front-end downforce. Maldonado was getting nowhere near the apex of corners, really struggling, and having lots of little lockups into the Vale chicane as well which indicates to me that he's really struggling on corner entry McLaren, McLaren had quite a quiet day uh, Stoffel van Dorn first of all looks very com comfortable in these new cars uh, he really could be a star of the future um, he never went by and you never thought oh there's a really new Larry driver um, but McLaren did a good amount of running disappeared a little bit around lunchtime um, but I think they'll be quite happy with the process, progress that they made at Silverstone on Tuesday at least. On to Force India. Force India, similar story. Uh, reliability strong with the Mercedes power unit. Uh, Perez looking a little bit squirmy with corners, um, but I think still Force India have got a good base to work from for the rest of the season. And I'll talk about this more later in the week, but apparently Force India are one of the only teams who don't have the front and rear interconnected suspension system, so they could really benefit from that later in the season. Sauber, first of all, this livery is awful. It looks dull, and Sauber, please change it. Um, apart from that, they seemingly disappeared in, in great parts of the day as well, didn't have the strongest of running. But credit to them for opening their... Um, garage in the pit walk at the end of the day it was really good to see the mechanics at work for the following day Toro Rosso Toro Rosso had an absolute shocker of a day uh, they only did what was it 28 laps Sean Oakburn only doing 28 laps Khan looking like nothing special um, pretty average in midfield which is where I expect them to be most of the season they also opened their garage uh, for the fans at the end of the day but nothing really special to note from um, them Williams now if you watch my British Grand Prix review you, you'll you'll know that I predicted Bottas could actually win races towards the end of the year Williams looking in a really good position the car's running well Felipe Massa looking like he could really attack the corners um, and I think Williams were, were trying to get a bit more um, sheer pace out of the car they were doing a lot of short runs like 5-6 lap runs um, but nothing to worry about, I think, for Williams at this part. Um, Marussia. Now, Marussia having a really good day um, for most of it, doing a lot of running. Jules Bianchi doing a lot of laps. However, uh, they had quite a sizable fire later in the day. I, I was sat on Abbey Corner right on the grandstand. The car came past me twice 
uh, making some very odd engine noises on that, that second occurrence where it did that and disappeared out of shot, broke down and then the fire erupted. Quite a sizable fire as I said, it was very reminiscent of how 80s F1 cars used to go up. Uh, now finally on to Caterham, Caterham I, I really worry where they are going for the rest of the season, I don't see them scoring any points and Will Stevens looked to really struggle on what I believe was his first time in one of the V6 turbo cars no confidence in the car mid corner you could almost hear him uh, blipping on and off the throttle which really is not the way you want to be driving these new cars and they had a he had a really struggle filled day so I'm going to shut up now and I'm just going to let you enjoy a bit of footage that I got on my phone from the day So thanks for watching the video, one last point to make, the cars do sound a lot better in person than they do, uh, on the TV at least. Um, if you want to check out more of my, my videos there's two links on the screen, on the left is my British Grand Prix review and on the right is me doing a bit of driving myself in one of the former student cars that I built back in the day. Uh, click that subscribe annotation in the top right hand corner if you don't mind and the like button as well, I've been Angela Blade and I'll catch you very soon.